students welcome to the subject database management system and today is session number 12 the topic that we are going to consider today is data independence point number 1 the three schema architecture can be used to further explain the concept of data independence students in the previous session we have studied three schema architecture okay the three schema architecture describes okay database architecture into three that is at external level conceptual level and internal level so internal level is called as physical level conceptual level is called as logical level schema point number 2 data independence is defined as the capacity to change the schema at one level of a database system without having to change the schema at next higher level so students data independence means you can change the the schema at one level and you need not change the schema at next higher level then how this is achieved this is achieved through the okay phenomena called as mapping that we have considered in the previous class point number 3 we can define two types of data independence one logical independence second physical independence so students there are two type of data independence one is called logical independence another is called physical independence first we will consider logical data independence logical data independence is the capacity to change the conceptual schema without having to change external schema or application programs so students logical data independence means ability to change conceptual schema without having to change external schema or application programs point number 2 we may change the conceptual schema to expand the database so what do you mean by expanding we can add the records okay to the database or you can add data item second to change the constraints or to reduce the database how we can reduce the database by removing records from the dat table or data item third point only the view definition and the mapping need to be changed in a dbms that supports logical data independence so students if you have gone in for logical data independence that means you have changed the conceptual schema then only you have to change the view definition and the mapping point number 4 after the conceptual schema undergoes a logical reorganization application programs that reference the external schema constructs must work as before students it is very clear that in the logical data independence the conceptual schema undergo change whereas the external schema doesn't change hence all the constructs or the program okay that refer the external schema must work very well because there is no change in the external schema point number 5 changes to the constraints can be applied to the conceptual schema without affecting the external schemas or application programs next physical data independence point number 1 physical data independence is the capacity to change the internal schema without having to change the conceptual schema so students the physical data independence is one of the data independence type apart from logical data independence so physical data independence means ability or capacity to change the internal schema without having to change the conceptual schema point number 2 hence the external schemas need not be changed as well 
so as we are not changing the conceptual schema so also it doesn't affect the external schema as we have studied that data independence means ability to, to change one schema schema at one level without having to change schema at next higher level point number three changes to the internal schema may be needed because some physical files were reorganized Point number three, for example, by creating additional access structures to improve the performance of retrieval and update. So when you change the physical okay schema, then you have to make some changes so that you can access the data properly. Point number four, if the same data as before remains in the database, we should not have to change the conceptual schema. There is no need to change the conceptual schema if the data is not changing in the database. Physical data independence. Again, we will revisit physical data independence. Generally, physical data independence exists in most databases and file environments where physical details such as the exact location of data on disk and hardware details of storage, encoding, placement, compression, splitting, merging of records and so on are hidden from the user. So a lot of the things that undergo for physical data independence that is when you change the physical okay, structure. It is hidden from the user. Point number two. Applications remains unaware of these details. Logical. Now again revisit logical data independence. On the other hand, logical data independence is hard to achieve because it allows structural and constraints changes without affecting application programs. A much stricter requirement. Students, physical data independence is easy to achieve because whatever changes takes place, the physical media are hidden from the user. Whereas logical data independence is relatively difficult to achieve. So students who have reached the end of the 